So JJ, uh, the Mets are now tied atop the division. They were hoping for a sweep, which means obviously Wednesday is a must win now. So normally splitting a series doesn't feel like that big of a deal, but how big of a deal is this one in particular? Monstrous, Michelle. There is a week left in the regular season. Every game is so precious. Every game is so valuable, and what you got from the Mets tonight, if this were June, you'd say no big deal. If this were July, you'd say no big deal. Now with a week left to play, you can't have a no-show for five-plus innings against a Marlin team that doesn't hit a lick. Carrasco was pathetic tonight. Didn't give his team a chance to win. The Met bats, where are they at the end of this game? So, yeah, it goes without saying, Anthony. The Atlanta Braves don't lose. They have done a wonderful job of beating up bad teams. It is an absolute must for the Mets to go and win tomorrow. No other way around it. This is not hyperbole. This is not exaggeration. It's a must for the Mets tomorrow. Yeah, JJ, the calendar makes this feel a lot worse than maybe it is. But it, the, it, it's part, to me, it's part of a bad theme for the Mets this whole season so far. We've all been getting so excited about this soft spot, uh, spot of their schedule where they can really take advantage, put some distance between them and the Braves by beating up on all the bad teams. Well, they haven't done it. They, they had a sort of mandate there, and they didn't get it done. And so what are we supposed to make of them now? We know they've been... The, the, the series with the Braves this weekend is looming here as a chance to make or break the division. Well, you can't also, you can't just wait for that to happen. You have to take care of the games on the schedule well, before then that, before then also, and, you know, they haven't done it. And this is just another example in this loss of the Marlins. So you just shrug and you hope that they can, if you're a Met fan, you hope that they can get it done uh, in the second game. But they've already failed uh, in this series against the Marlins by losing the first game. Well, JJ, it's a lot of pressure on Taiwan Walker Thursday for multiple reasons, but would you say one of the reasons is that the fourth starter spot for the postseason is potentially up for grabs? That's way down the list for me, Michelle. <laughs> way down the list, because this game tomorrow night is way more important than the idea of, oh, who's making a start in game four of a playoff series? Because guess what? You got to get to game four of a playoff series, and that means the Mets have to go and win the National League East. So it behooves the entire team that Taiwan Walker does a much better job than Carlos Carrasco did starting off this series. I'm not concerned about how I'm lining up a postseason rotation, Anthony, when I'm even with the Atlanta Braves. I'm kind of intrigued, though, JJ, to be quite honest with you, because we've got these two guys. They're they're both talented pitchers, right? And they have this weird quirk about how they, they've been beating the bad teams, but they've had a lot of trouble with the with the better teams. And then Carrasco fails in the opener with the, with the Marlins. So now Walker's got his chance. The door is cracked open a little bit more for him to seize that spot. We'll see if he does anything with it. And it's a boost that the, the Mets could use as a team, you know, because going into that series with the Braves, I mean, do you really want that? You really want to be the, the team that lost twice to the Marlins of all teams going into the biggest Especially series? Especially the history the thinking about 2007, 2008, too. Yeah, you yes, know that's in the back the of the Mets fans' mind. Absolutely. And it's the biggest series for the Mets since 2016, 2015. All right, JJ, Anthony, thank you so much.